two of the LAMC 2013. I'm Catalina Maria Johnson. On behalf of Beat Latino and Gozamos, it's exciting to be starting another day here at the LAMC, the Latin Alternative Music Conference, and an artist that I had the pleasure of witnessing live yesterday at Summer State with a new album of beautiful artists that we've known in different roles throughout the years, Natalia Clavier. It's a great pleasure to be here, Natalia. Hi, thank you for having me. So tell us about this journey um, from Argentina to, and I've heard that you were singing at the age of three, uh, very young, <laughs> through then uh, several other uh, projects, Thievery Corporation, and now finally to Lumen. Tell us a little bit about uh, all of that and how it, how it happened. Well, um, it happened throughout several years, like about 15 years total. And um, so from Argentina, I moved to Barcelona. That's where I met Federico Bell. That was the, the starting point to everything that happened later um, because he was the one that introduced me to the ESL music, um, Thievery Corporation family. And uh, so um, I started touring with them in 2007. And then in uh, 2008, uh, one of them, Eric Hilton, produced my first album. And actually, Eric Hilton um, introduced me to uh, Adrian Casada, who uh, became the producer. Grupo Fantasma? Correct. Wow. Yes, yes. Wow. He's a Grammy-winning boy, <laughs> yeah, producer yeah. Uh, for Grupo, actually. And yeah, it was like... Uh, this whole uh, process of making uh, Lumen was incredible, mainly because of he his talent and his, um, you know, the person that he is. He's incredibly humble and, and loving. It's so easy to work with him. So I think the result shows, you know, of the us having fun and like in the process. And I think it shows. I'm happy with the result. And the title Lumen. It's an unusual title. I was actually trying to look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> Yes. Tell me a little bit more about it. Well, I just st started with the song, mm -hmm. um, very original. <laughs> but, uh, um, so I wrote this song about capturing um, a lightning with with the um, with the um, smartphone. I don't want to say brands, right? <laughs> and so Lumen is pretty much the the unit of of the. F uh, flux of radiant light is, is how you measure, you know, light. the intensity of light. And so I call it, you know, the song lumen. And then I look, you know, I research on the, on the word. And first of all, I found out that it's the same spelling in English and Spanish, which is something that I always find very attractive. And, and it, I think, it, you know, it kind of relates to my music. You know, I do like the crossovers. Thing and, and stuff, especially on this album, and also it's a, such a positive or positivistic message, you know, like it's light, um, and and that's what I want to bring to the table. My goal will be, if I could help anybody to heal through my music, that's it for me. That's that's what I want to achieve. So that's interesting because it is a music that is full of light oh. on, on some level. Awesome! <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> and I love Volar. That, that's one of the um, tracks on that album that, that does. I mean, the minute I heard it, it's just like your spirits... Uplifting? Yeah, lifting. Good. Yeah. Like yeah. a little bird flying. <laughs> well, that song is very special to me because it, it's like uh, deeply rooted in Argentinian folklore. Interesting. Um, wow. You know, that rhythm... That's like uh, you know malambo chacarera. It's like it's part of. Uh, it's the first thing I sang. You know, when I was um, ten years old, I was in a, a folkloric group of eight kids. I was the the female soloist <laughs> in this group, and we did like all Atahualpa Yupanqui. That is, wow, wow, wow. you know, the biggest uh, folklore singer songwriter of, right. our, I mean. of our country. Yeah, I deeply adore him. Um, he's still alive in, in my soul and it will be forever. So that song is like, that song actually makes me really want to do, um, for my third album, I really want to go deeper, you know, because of that song. So it's, it's very interesting that you bring this up. So It's interesting because uh, I hadn't thought of that, but maybe that draws me because, you know, you have such great singer-songwriters in that tradition, which is both 
uh, which is activist and uh, as well as musical uh, Atahualpa Mercedes Sosa. I mean, yes. just oh Mercedes, you know, right? Yeah. But and that she also played around a lot with it. Of course, the chacarera and those kinds of like well, you said, there's something. She did um sorry for interrupting, but she did um a, a whole album singing to Atahualpa, uh -huh. singing only his uh, repertoire, you know, only his songs. So so yeah, this this world is all connected, and it's it's like yeah, it's who I, it's it's a big part of who I am, you know. And it's interesting you mo you point out the healing because they really focus directly on you know the social situation and, and speaking to it, but you're doing it kind of indirectly, like in a in a in a just general, in the sense of like, just r r let your spirits heal and then mm -hmm. that's, and do you think of that as you're composing or is it? Well, I am aware, pretty much aware of the power or the healing power of music. Um, you know, I started, I trained as a health coach and I, I, I didn't I know that tried. as a health coach. Yes, I graduated <laughs> last year. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, you know, I, I believe in holistic um, health, so looking at, you know, every single aspect of, of your life, of your um, situation, reality, and um, I strongly believe that, um, you know, what you think is what you become, so I'm not, I don't have like a songwriting method where I sit down and I, you know, write, or I say, I think, okay, this is going to trigger that, and this is going to, I just try to translate into a song whatever I hear in my head because yes I hear things in my head <laughs> melody sometimes you know. <laughs> yeah. I believe actually that everything is just done that none of us actually are like the creators we just plug you know things in uh, they're hanging out up there in the in, in the universe and we just channel the the ones that, that are you know, lucky enough and are blessed with, with this ability to channel, we just do that. We don't, it's already there, you know, it's, it's we are one thing. Oh, I'm going like really it's being a crazy mystical now, but that's okay, I hope that's okay. <laughs> no, and that's beautiful. Um, so, so yeah, going back to what you, what you were, I mean, I don't plan it, but I am aware of the power uh, mm -hmm. of it. So when it happens, I really try to stay, you know, clean, focus, and connect, and project. Wow. Hopefully. And so you're thinking of so doing uh, interpretations, reinterpretations of songs by, say, Atahualpa, or more like creating in a folkloric tradition? Yeah, c c yes. Um, I actually did um, a cover of Atahualpa's, one of Atahualpa's song, um, Tu Que Puedes, Vuelvete, on my first album that's the only cover I've ever done actually in, in, a, in an album um, so I, th I feel like my little tribute is already there mm -hmm. so but yes yeah, it's, it's exactly what you said I, I want to go for the you know more folkloric of course like integrating and, and mixing other influences like electronic music uh, for example is going to be there for sure but in, in the I want to explore the, 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 the whole, not even the, the tango or the chacarera or the music from La Pampa, that is the, the area that I'm, you know, that I'm oh. from, but the whole Argentine, Argentinian folklore, the north, west, and east, everything, you know. Wow. There's so, so many fu fun rhythms, <laughs> you know, like party rhythms out there. I want to explore that. It's great. And will you continue to sing in Spanish, you think? Uh, well, well you know, I... I I want to say Spanish because it's like Argentinian folklore, but I never say never. Mm. I might, I might do a little bit of uh, indigenous languages, oh, wow, um, cool. you know, like yeah, like from uh, Mapuches, mm -hmm. like and and some some songs, traditional songs that I used to sing when I was 20 years old. Like you know, back in the day, I used to do like the ethnic kind uh -huh. of thing, like uh -huh. uh, Indian devotionals and like. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, so. So we can't wait. Can't wait, Natalia. Thank, thank you so you. much for uh, sharing your insights on your creative process and your philosophy. Thanks. Um, plugging in to the goodness of the universe, which I think you know you have access to, so we're happy Aww. that you share that <laughs> with us. <laughs> and thanks for taking some time. And uh, we look forward to the next record. Muchísimas gracias, Natalia Clavier, por estar con nosotros aquí en el LAMC 2013. Gracias a ti por invitarme.